Welcome everyone back to another OPT and only vlog video and today we'll be predicting the rest of the 2021 Big Ten football season. And uh, so far, let me just say, my Hawks are doing really good, ranked number two in the country. Like, so when you look at the Big Ten West here, I was a 6-0 seeing the two ranked spot and then everyone else is just not that. Just, Minnesota and Purdue just are like the solid teams of the Big Ten West than the great teams I have with this year. But this Big Ten East is unbelievable. The five, the six teams you, and over a wire on 500 in Indiana it isn't that many. So let's get into it. Start, starting with week seven, um, Michigan State undefeated so far. I'm not sure what they went. I think they went number eight. Eight in the nation, maybe something like that. Uh, let me check here. This against wait, this against states wink, winky. I did not know what the wink. Michigan State wink tenth. Um, this will be a really close game. Indiana, they were overrated. Now they're just like they they're just not that good this year. Um, they're not the team. Michigan State will come in there and win by a score of 28 to 17. Next game, Rutgers versus Northwestern. This would be a this will be a good game. Two classy teams. When you look at it, two and three, three and three. Well, I mean, not really classy as they usually are. Well, Northwestern classy this year because they're usually a pretty good team. They're 0-2 in the Big Ten. Walker's is 0-3 in the Big Ten. Um, it's at it's in Evanston. I feel like whoever will be home in one of these games would be the winner. I got Northwestern winning in a close one by a score of 20, um, 24 to 21. Like, um, two teams here in Minnesota, a pretty decent team this year. They played Bowling Green at home and they lost a disappointing loss. Um, Nebraska went to um, East Lansing and gave them a pretty good battle. They nearly beat Michigan too. Um, but I got Minnesota in a close one by a score of 30, um, 31 to 27. A lot of these games are close. But you and I won. I'm going to this game. And this is game is going to be a uh, pretty good game, I feel like. But I, Purdue's just without David Bell, with that injury list. Uh, um, losing one on oh, that Moore guy. I'm not sure what's his first name. But I, Iowa defense was just hold Purdue. I got Iowa winning this 34-10. Wisconsin Army. Army's a solid football team. Wisconsin not that good this year, but they showed who they actually are on the road against Illinois, Wisconsin, winning this game by a score of 31 to 17. One sec. That's it for the week seven, week eight now. Iowa, this is the week that Iowa has an off week. So, Wisconsin at Purdue. Purdue coming off that loss at Iowa. Wisconsin, three and three. They put themselves so back in the rankings, I think, at 25. Purdue, you know how they absolutely dominated Ohio State a couple years ago than West Lafayette. I got Purdue winning this game. I feel like it's going to be a low scoring game by a score of 20 for the 17. And Wisconsin basically just lost their Big Ten title hopes here. North, Northwestern at Michigan. Michigan great this year. Great. The six and zero oh, off week last week. Here, I think they have the win. Um, but those Northwestern not that good this year. 
uh, ain't any good. Uh, I got Michigan blowing them out 48 to 17. Um, Illinois, Penn State. So Illinois. Penn State was absolutely horrible for five games last year. Then they really turned around. They did really good at, um, they've been really good this year. They won against Illinois at home this year. I, well, might have been away, but they won, yep, it was away. They won 56-21. Illinois will get absolutely dominated again. 49-14 win for Penn State in that one. Um, here we got two more games of week eight. Maryland at Minnesota. Maryland's great this year. Minnesota is also pretty good. Four and two teams. Um, you are facing off. You, but to just better QB to lure attack Tuva. Maryland go go in there. Kind of stun football, but it's not really big a big game. Um, I got Maryland winning in a close one with. Um, my score 38 to 31. Ohio State, Indiana, um, Bloomington will be packed house. Um, your plan, I guess, will be ranked, Ohio State will be ranked probably, probably seven going in there. And I think Indiana can't win this. Just they just don't have enough firepower. Ohio State, she's under CJ Stroud, has been good besides that game against Oregon. I have Ohio State winning by a score of 34-24. That's it for week eight. Uh, Michigan State continues to be great. Oh, here we go. One of the best rivalries in football. Michigan, Michigan State. Um. Two top ten teams I'm gonna guess. Seven oh um best the top three best teams um here in the Big Ten. Four and oh in a rivalry in a rivalry game. I don't know. Um it's gonna be a close game. It, but I feel like whoever's home in one of these games with that cloud pumped up. I got Michigan State winning this rival rivalry okay, um for the second year in a row, which is surprising. They went to East, uh, I mean, the, not so where uh, Michigan plays, but, oh yeah, um, Harvard or something. <laughs> um, but they'll go there and win um, by a score of 31, I mean, 35 to 27. Ann Arbor. Um, here we go. Keep going. Michigan, I mean, Minnesota at Northwestern. Minnesota will go there and win by a score of 30, 30 to 17. Minnesota will improve the 5 and 3 solid season for Minnesota here. 3 and 2 in the Big Ten. They'll be cutting. They could. It'll be a solid game in Iowa City whenever the, these teams play against each other. Penn State, Ohio State. What a game we have here! Top five teams. I'm guessing five. Um, Ohio. Um, four Penn State at five Ohio State. I have Ohio State winning in a close, close one and an offensive battle. Let me take that back. Penn State has good defense. I'm going to say decently offensive battle. I got um, Ohio State winning um, 33 to 31. Rutgers versus Illinois. Two horrible teams playing here. Illinois, I feel like they're home. They'll win this game by a score of um, 20. 
4.14. Now here we go between Purdue at Nebraska. Nebraska dominated Northwestern at home. Barely lost to Michigan at home. They, but they have a little easier battle versus Purdue. They should, they should win that. I think by a score of thirty, um, five to twenty-one. Here we go, Indiana, Maryland. <sighs> Maryland's home in this game. They should win it. Offensive battle with Tulio Tatuva, forty-five, thirty. Um, five. Iowa at Wisconsin. Um, battle here. I got in a little rivalry game. Why? Okay, rivalry game. I got Iowa winning this game by a score of. Mm, it's will be a defensive battle. I have Iowa taking the win, twenty to ten. Iowa remains undefeated. So does Michigan State. Oh, Iowa versus Northwestern. I think Iowa. I got Iowa. I got Iowa. Oops. In a close, decently close game. Northwestern always gives Iowa a good battle. I have Iowa, though, winning this by score of. Probably Iowa's offense will show up a little more this game. I have Iowa winning 38-14. to 14. Now, Michigan State, Purdue. Purdue, a great team, I feel like, at home. They always are pretty good at home. But Michigan State, this is their year. Michigan State, 27-17. Wisconsin at Rutgers, you know who I'm going to pick. I know. Wisconsin winning... 45 to 17. Indiana at Michigan. Michigan should win that. I'm going to pick a highest scoring game. 59 24 Michigan. Penn State at Maryland. Here's a deal. Like in that Iowa game, there was a black house there in College Park. It'd be one here. Just watching number four team, Penn State at Maryland play. I think Penn State will go there, but won't beat them as much as Iowa did. I will whoop Maryland there. I got I um, Penn State winning 31 to 20. Illinois at Minnesota. Minnesota will continue to be good. They should win that by a score of 30, um, 32. I'm picking kind of weak score to 24. 32-24. Um, Ohio State, Nebraska, Ohio State will, I think, whip them, even though it's in Lincoln. I think Ohio State should whip them down to the last two weeks here. Ooh. Walkers at Indiana. I think Indiana will hold on for a win here, 27 to, uh, 27 to 20. Maryland at Michigan State. Michigan State will continue to be good. By winning this by a score of 31 to 27. It'll be a good game. Pet Purdue at Ohio State. Ohio State wins this 63 to 24. Ohio State's offense is great this year. Wide three game. Michigan at Penn State. Penn State. All the home teams are winning this week. Yeah. Uh, yeah, by score, it'll be a defensive game. You know how all two teams are known for defense here. 20, um, 20, 20 for Penn State, 17 for Michigan. Wisconsin will whip, um, whip Northwestern 31 nothing, And Iowa will solidly beat Minnesota. It'll be a good game, though, between the top two teams in the Big Ten West this year. I would say Iowa wins it by a score of 24 to 13. Iowa's magical year continues. Oh, no, no, mind. I have a little more left. This is going to be a long video. <laughs> Minnesota, Indiana. I got Minnesota going there, win, winning it by a score of 20, 26 to 20. 
Purdue, Northwestern, Purdue will go there and beat them by a score of of 10 to 3. Oh, I don't know why. I feel like, no, let me take that back. It shouldn't be a defense game. Uh, 31 to 20. Um, one. I changed that thing completely. Um, Michigan State, Ohio State. This is the battle. The battle for the Big Ten East who will play in that championship game. Ohio State will end the dream season for Michigan State. 30. 5 to 28. Rutgers, Penn State. Rutgers, um, Penn State dominating. I think Michigan should go there to win. Wisconsin and Iowa, I mean, both win. Going down to our last week here. Here we go. Last week of the year. Iowa plays on a Friday this week. I think Iowa should win this in a lively game. Oh, Penn State at Michigan State. He'll be pumped up there. I got Michigan State winning a close one. Indiana at Purdue. Purdue, I got them winning. Uh, finish this season 6-6. Six and six. Is that a bowl game? I think if you go 6-6, six and six, that's a bowl game. Because that's right on 500. Michigan at Rutgers. I mean, Maryland at Rutgers. Maryland should win this in a decently good, close battle. Northwestern at Illinois. I think... North Illinois will win this game barely. Wisconsin at Minnesota. Miss Minnesota, good year, but Wisconsin will be great. The rivalry game, yes. Ohio State, Michigan, Michigan, the will win. Hoo-hoo. Huge, huge, which will give that what um, Michigan State was rooting for Ohio State in that game, and they will play I won the Big Ten Championship game. I do not pick that yet. If that will be it, I probably will pick do a video for that too. But see, look at this East. It ain't that bad. Four bowl teams, six and six, seven and five, Minnesota, five and four in the Big Ten, seven and five, uh, decent West, I guess. Four, six, four and eight, four and eight, three and nine. These three teams are horrible. Three and nine, Rutgers, Indiana, not a good year. Uh, then Maryland seven and five, good year for Maryland. Maryland nine and three, Penn State, good year for them. T- ten and two, ten and two, eleven and one for those top three teams. So thank you for watching LPT and Me Blogs. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.